What's up, Travel Fam? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. And make sure you hit that subscribe button for more travel content. So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna get right into the tea, honey. So yes, I went on a Virgin Voyages cruise recently and I went on the Scarlet Lady. And I'm gonna give you all the ins and outs of what happened, all the, I'm gonna give you the reviews, everything, honey. So stay tuned if you wanna know the real deal about Virgin Voyages, okay? So yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Um, and this is adult only. I mean, I do have my wine while I'm giving y'all the tea. So make sure you stay tuned, okay? Cause this is gonna be very, very good. Um, let's just get right into it. Embarkation. And if you see me looking down, it's because I need notes. I don't wanna get off track, okay? So I need to stay focused. I don't wanna make this video too long, but I do wanna tell y'all everything. Okay, so embarkation was really fast, actually. I was really shocked. Uh, my um, time to board was 3 p.m. I got there around 3 p.m. And I got on, I think I waited probably about five or 10 minutes. The line moved really quick. It wasn't even that long of a line, to be honest. And got on pretty fast, got checked in, didn't have to wait, literally walked right on. Embarkation was a breeze. That's a, a check. That's a very good check for Virgin. Um, okay, and so yeah, so that was embarkation. I, I want to say that was really good. Um, sail away. Okay, so when you get to the sail away party, because that's what I'm looking for. I'm like, how was this sail away party going to be? I've seen videos. Sail away was really fun. It was really fun. They did have the free champagne glasses. I think they did it for, I don't know if it was an hour or so, but honey, I got as many as I could within the time frame that they had them. <laughs> get as many champagne champagne glasses as you can, or wine, I don't know what they had. It was wine or champagne, one of the two. But um, they did like a toast to the ship. And then once they did the toast to the ship, the crew, which were, they're called like the Happenings cast. That's what they're called. And they were dancing all around. They had the music. The DJ was up there playing, you know, the music. And it was a good little vibe. It was a good chill vibe. I liked it. Uh, so the sail away party was cool for me. And let's see. Yeah. So the sail away party after that. Okay, so then I went to the room. Now let's look at, okay, so the room. The room, when I walked in, first of all, I had trouble getting the little wristband thingy to work. But then once I got it, it opened. Walked in, room was pretty, you know, room was pretty. It was very like chic, very, you know, very nice, very neat. And the bed was definitely low to the ground. I heard people say the bed was low to the ground. It was, but I didn't have a problem with that. But if you need beds that are higher up, you might have a problem with that. I didn't, it was okay. The bed was comfortable to me. Um, the balcony, of course, was nice. It was the average size balcony, but of course it had the hammock. So it gave it a little oomph, something little, you know, different. Hammock was very nice. Of course, the hammocks are hand woven. So um, that was a great detail. And it was very nice to lay out in. I did land it multiple times, laid out on the hammock. And it was a, a very good detail to the outside of your uh balcony so that's an a plus i like the hammock uh the best part of the room was <laughs> the tv i must say it was the ipad the little pad it was like the control pad for the room it was very you know um forward thinking i would say so um very now generation or however you want to say it but it was the ipad was like the control pad to the room and it controlled the lights, it controlled the heating and air, it controlled the curtains for the balcony, for the curtains to open up and close, it controlled the TV, the uh, movies you wanted to watch, you watched your safety briefings through it, everything. So it was definitely your control room thing. So I liked that, um, it was very cool. And 
you have to make sure you charge it though. Make sure you put that thing back on the charger. If you guys didn't know, it was like a little charger that you place the iPad back on and it charges it back up for you guys. So make sure you do that daily because you don't want to have it um, run, run out and be low battery because it literally controls your room. <laughs> so I thought that was very cool of it. Um, what else? The room though, it's small. Yeah, it's very small. It's very tight. Not a lot of storage space. And I have, you know, a lot of, um, and I'm going to say I have a lot of things, but, you know, I had to find places for them. And um, <clears throat> the space under the bed, you can get a suitcase under there, but you really have to, uh, really have to try to fit it in. It can't be a big bulky one. It has to be like a small one, but Anyways, the bathroom was small. I mean, but the bathroom was cool. It was nice. It had a little rain shower thing. Did I ever use it? Mm, no. Nope, I didn't use it. But it was cool to have in case you wanted to use a little rain shower head. You know, it was cool in there to have. I didn't use it, but whatever. But yeah, so the room was okay. Um, they did have weird things like the lighting in the bathroom. Uh, not the bathroom, the lighting in the closet. It's like, why is the lighting in the closet? Also, you did have the option to, uh, for have them come pick up your dirty, uh, to come clean your room or for them not to, it was like a red button and a blue button you can press if you wanted them not to come in. It was all in the little closet. I don't know why it was in the closet, but it was there. Uh, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> the room was cool. It wasn't too bad. Like I said, it was a little small, but Hey, just, you know, if you're not gonna, I was only there for five days, so I didn't pack a lot, but if you're there for more than five days, it might be a little difficult as far as storage space if it's at least two of you in the room. So just FYI. All right. Um, what else are we going to get into? Okay. The pool. I'm going to just get right into it. The pool was very small. And I just want to say for an adult only cruise, the pool was very small. And you know a lot of adults want to hang around the pool. So I just felt like they probably needed, even if they didn't have a bigger pool, have more pools, okay? Just have more pools. They had their main pool, which was very small. And they had the beds around it, which were always filled up, the purple beds, always filled up with the small pool. I never got in it personally because I just, it was like, I felt like it was a cesspool of people. It was just too many people in there for me. Ew. So I didn't get in. I didn't get in it. Um, they did have another pool in the back. It was like a little circular pool. It was small too. But um, they did have a couple jacuzzis, to, uh, but they were kind of small as well. I just want to say if it's an adult only cruise, you need to have more jacuzzi tubs and a few more pools if they're going to be small like that. Because, you know, people do, I mean, adults like to hang out by the pool and they like to get in the pool. So definitely have either make it a bigger pool or have more pools. Um, for people because I do like to get into swimming pools, but if it's overcrowded, I'm just not going to do it and kind of bummed, but I did get into the pool in the back. I didn't get into the main pool, but I got into the pool, the little circular pool in the back um, because I think it was one day, I forgot what day, but it was not a lot of people in there. So I was like, let me go ahead and get into the pool real fast. Okay. Let me, okay. I'm, I'm rambling. Let me hurry up. The food, <laughs> the food, um, I love the food on Virgin. Is it as cracked up as everybody is, t is saying? Um, I think no. And that's just my personal opinion. But I do think it was very good food. So um, there were a few restaurants. I didn't, for, for one, I didn't try the test kitchen. So I don't, I didn't know how that one was. But for the wake, for what I ordered, I didn't, I thought it was very average. It was like the chicken. It took forever to come out. And I thought for the amount of time that I waited, it was really average. So take it or leave it. That's just how I thought. Um, so I didn't think the wake was all of that, but I do, but it was okay. I just think, I don't think it was what everybody made it out to be, but I think for my experience, it was just okay. Um, and the wake brunch was a no-go for me. Food was not good. Service was slow, and um, and also for brunch, they like, I don't know, their customer service, That's I'm going to get into that later on, but they like jump, they like skipped me. Like I literally, they called my name and I'm like, hey, and then they like picked up somebody else to seat them. I was a little mad about that, 
but I wasn't gonna get into it. I let it ride. They still sat me. But the wake brunch was, to me, not the best um, for breakfast or for brunch. I just didn't like their brunch, their CDA brunch. But the view was amazing at the wake. <laughs> so definitely go there, you know, to see the view. But the food for me wasn't, uh, I don't think there was enough choices and I didn't think it was that good. Um, the galley. The galley, you go and you sit there, it's like their buffet. Okay, so it's their buffet, but you have to, um, you order off the menu, you have to hold their little, you have to, when you're ready to order, there's a little thing that you stick up and then they come, a server comes to you, to your table, take your order, and then they bring you your food. So you do have to wait for the food to come. Uh, I will say that the food was okay in the galley to me. It wasn't anything extraordinary. Um, I thought the food was decent. Um, I, it wasn't anything I'm like, oh my God. But, you know, I did like how they did serve you the food, but sometimes I didn't like to wait. So I'm kind of like, eh, you know, I don't know. It's not a traditional buffet, but um, I don't know. It, it, it was okay. It wasn't anything that I'm like, wow, I have to go back. Let me go back to the galley. The food was average to me in the galley. I mean, but most buffets are average. So it's kind of, I guess it's average. <laughs> um, what else? The restaurants. Okay. I did like the other restaurants. I did like, um, I liked Pink Agave. Great food. Very delicious. Loved it. Left everything I had at Pink Agave. Very, very delicious. Try it if you can. The other restaurant, Extra Virgin, loved Extra Virgin, very good. Mwah. All the food, very delicious. Dessert, wonderful. Go to Extra Virgin. Razzle Dazzle surprised me. People had mixed reviews about Razzle Dazzle, but I liked it. Razzle Dazzle to me was really good. I liked it. But that's up to my, I didn't eat any of the vegan food on there, whatever they had. I went for the naughty list, so I did the fried chicken and all of that stuff. So maybe that's why I liked it and I enjoyed it. But, and I thought the fried chicken was good. So <clears throat> I liked Razzle Dazzle. Um, I was surprised that I did, but I did. I liked it. And the other restaurant, uh, Gun Bay. Gun Bay, I didn't really care for Gun Bay, actually. Everybody hypes up Gun Bay. I didn't really care for it. Now, granted, I don't like seafood, so maybe that tainted my whole experience but also the fact that maybe my experience with the people at my our table because you do sit with other people at your table and although they were nice um we just you know we had people who didn't want to drink they didn't want to play the game and that's fine but you know i did want to experience the whole gun bay game and i didn't get that experience so maybe that tainted it as well also my server I think that she was rushing our service a little bit. I felt like she was just bringing whatever she wanted to the table and I didn't really order what I wanted. The only thing that I really did like was the spicy chicken and I did order two servings of that because everything else I didn't like. I mean, I don't eat seafood, so I didn't eat any of that. Uh, so the spicy chicken was really what I was eating. Now the soju, which was the, the drink that they give you when you do play the game, they did just give us the soju anyway when we didn't play the game. So it's whatever. And I think one of the other couples gave me some of their soju because they didn't drink. So I was like, cool, I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, um, for me, I could skip Gun Bay. It wasn't really anything too extraordinary for me, for my experience. So if I go on, I don't have to go to Gun Bay. I mean, that's just my experience, but you may think differently. I've heard people say they love gun bay, so, but definitely try it, of course, if it's your first time on Virgin. Um, what's the other restaurant? Um, oh, I think I got them all. Gun bay, yeah. Um, but the food overall, I thought was good on Virgin. It, uh, it was, it is good on Virgin. Of course, a few things here and there, I'm just like, eh, but it is what it is. You're not gonna like everything, but the food on Virgin is definitely good. Okay, so now let's go. The bar tab. People had questions about the bar tab. Is it worth it? I would say it just depends um, if you are going by yourself or if you're rooming with someone because the bar tab is not like if you're rooming with someone, they have to get it. It's a bar tab. So you're paying $300 or $600 if you're doing, I think, over five days. It's $600. Um, so you pay $300 and then they give you an extra 
Virgin will give you an additional $50 added to your $300. So you have $350 for your bar tab for drinks. Um, so, and the drinks weren't priced terribly high. So I thought that for me, it was worth it. I, I got the bar tab for $300. And I think I end up, ended up, and it was me, and it was two of us using the $350 bar tab. So between two people, I think we went over $130 over the $350. So that wasn't too bad. So it just depends on how much you drink. And if you're like a really heavy drinker, if you are, then probably do more than $300. Or if you're not really that big of a drinker, then I would say don't even get the bar tab and just take it day by day. So it's up to you though. Entertainment was good, kind of. Some shows, some shows were good, some shows were not to me. So I'm gonna get into the shows that were good. I saw a show, it was called The Ship Show. And I thought that was really cool. It was pretty much a variety show and it had different acts and they're doing different things. And that was interesting. They also had dinner. I didn't know that they had offered dinner with the show. So it was like, uh, almost like a four course meal. So I thought that was interesting. And, uh, but yeah, I got dinner in the show and that's what they gave me. And it was cool, it was fun. I thought that it was uh, very entertaining. I would go again to the dinner show, the ship show. The other show was Dual reality, I thought that was an interesting show. It had like a little storyline. Again, I think it was a variety show, like an over-exaggerated variety show, dual reality, but they had a lot of acrobatics, different things. So I thought that was a good show. And like I said, it had a storyline. So definitely check out dual reality if you can. That was a really good show. I enjoyed that one. There was also another show and I think it was called The Dance Show or Dance Thing untitled or I don't know it was untitled I didn't really care for that one I think that standing up was the downfall for me because I have back problems okay I may look young but baby I am seasoned <laughs> anyway I have back problems and I'm like I can't stand up and the thing about it is the show was a whole hour why is it an hour and yet we have to stand up that's just not good like you have to take take into account people who need to sit, even if they're older people. Like, come on, like uh, they can't stand up. I mean, who wants to stand up for an hour? I mean, you can, but do you want to? And if you're in heels, no ma'am, I'm not doing that. So I think after 30 minutes I left and that was me being generous to say. The show wasn't that entertaining, but I got a few you know, footage for it, but I left after 30 minutes. First of all, I'm not standing up for an hour. That's crazy. That needs to go. They need to ask that. That's just not good. I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're trying to be different and, and forward thinking, but I think that's too forward thinking because not everyone can stand up for an hour. I think you need to take in consideration the people who are going to your show because the crowd is very mixed. It was a mixture of older and younger and middle aged. It wasn't just a whole bunch of young kids. So I do think they need to re, re, rethink that um, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, the shows were 50, 50. And also as far as the shows, um, if you guys are wondering if it's like a whole bunch of, I guess, LGBTQ stuff. Um, I mean, they do have some shows that are catered to that. Yes. So if that bothers you, um, I would say just avoid those shows, but none of that was very forefront or in your face. So I don't know. Oh my God, this video is getting too long. Okay. It wasn't all in your face, but it did have some shows that were catered to that. Um, just to avoid them if you don't like it, but if you don't mind it, go ahead and watch it. I mean, it's a show. They're not going to be really in your face like that. So, um, what else? I did order the Splash of Romance prior to, and the Splash of Romance cost me $200. What the Splash of Romance also included was, it included priority check-in, which I don't think that, I mean, I really got on really fast, so it wasn't really priority, <laughs> but whatever, I got on quick. It also included a three-hour time at the spa, Redemption Spa, 
and I thought that was cool. I got to experience a little spa a day and I took advantage of all of it. Thank you. Uh, it also included a shake of champagne. So I did get a bottle of Moet at any point in time of the cruise that I wanted. All I had to do was shake my phone and they would bring it to me anywhere I was at on the ship. And I, I did think I did it on the last day. So that was cool. Also, they do give you free like juice smoothies every morning um, up until like 11 a.m. You got to get it between like 9 and 11 or something like that. Get you a free juice smoothie. I got I got majority of mine. They also give you these little aphrodisiac like treats. Um, and it was like little treats that they brought sporadically day by day. And they were okay. They were good to try. What else did it come with? I think, oh, and also it also came with, I got a, I did get to have um, access to Richard's rooftop for an hour, um, one at one day. I forgot which day it was, but we did get to party on the Richard's rooftop for an hour, which they did give you free champagne as well. And on that day I was late, but I still got there in time. I think it was in Cozumel, yeah my Cosmo day and I got back a little late but I still got back in time to get my free glass of champagne honey because I was gonna I wasn't gonna miss that okay <laughs> so that was cool so I think in my opinion the splash of romance is worth it um but I probably wouldn't do it again but I think for the first time just to get that experience yeah it was worth it it was $200 so if you add everything up um yeah it was worth it you know so if you want to try that try the splash of romance all right, Scarlet Night was a great night. Scarlet Night was fun. I had a great time at Scarlet Night, honey. I danced, I partied, and I partied more at the club. So yes, I think that Scarlet Night was definitely the best night for me. And um, all I can say is it was, a, it was a really good time. And Scarlet, I mean, Virgin did a really good time with Scarlet Night. So yeah, Scarlet Night gets a two thumbs up for me. People always ask, is this a swingers cruise? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I didn't see that on my cruise. So if you're looking, if you're trying to ask, if, is it like a whole bunch of people out doing crazy things in the open? No, <laughs> I don't like, no, I don't, I didn't see that. So I can't tell you that that's what it's about. Um, no, I didn't see none of that in the open. So if you're worried about that, don't be because I saw none of the sort. <laughs> it's like a regular cruise. Um, customer service to me, I thought was average, very average. I don't think they went above or beyond in any type of way, shape or form. I do think that because they don't get tipped, they don't go the extra mile. They pretty much do their job. And I saw that they just did their job. They do, you know, they help you and everything, but they're not going above and beyond. And I, I witnessed a few incidents on board. So I was just like, yeah, they don't care. And one incident was, I was at Sip's Lounge, honey, and uh, was at the bar, was wanting to order. Two bartenders were there, got completely ignored. Like, I'm looking like, hello, I'm here. You know, you can acknowledge me. My thing is acknowledge me that I'm here. Don't just ignore me. I don't know what that was about, it was two bartenders, two ladies. They just ignored me and I didn't appreciate it because I don't know if she thought she was helping me or she, but no one acknowledged me. No one said, okay, hey, I know one lady was on the phone. She didn't say, I'll be right back. She didn't say, hold on one second. The other lady just didn't even look my way. I'm like, I come up to the bar and no one greets me. That's rude. So I politely got up and left because no, I don't want to sit here now. I don't want to have your service now because it seems like you don't want to serve me. So that ticked me off. Didn't like that. And it was another incident, but I'm not going to get into it, honey. But like I said, their customer service was very average to me. And that was just my experience. Okay. They do have gyms. Uh, they have, you know, their cruises dedicated to wellness and all of that jazz. And it, de it definitely is. They had, they had all the gyms, all the little equipment things. They had all the exercise classes you can think of, cycling, yoga, everything, honey. So if you're on here trying to get your little, your little um, 
body back in shape or whatever, this is the cruise to do it. They had all the classes for you. I did do the gym one day and it was pretty cool. I did the treadmill and I liked it. So that was a pretty cool experience um, for me. What else? The music, I thought, people was like, how's the music? To me, I feel like the music is like some sort of pre-recorded track. Now, and I'm saying that for Sail Away, I think the Sail Away Party is, is a pre-recorded track because I feel like every cruise vlogs that I've watched on Virgin Voyages, it's the same music. It's like the mixture of some sort of EDM, mixture of house music, and, and then they just do mixture of songs. And it's the same songs that I hear that they're being mixed in and everything like that. So I do feel like it is a pre kind of pre track for the sail away party, which is like, hmm. so it's not really different for every cruise. It's really just some, Hey, this is the track we're going to use for sail away. And it's like the same music. So, uh, I don't know. Scarlet night. I feel like they do reuse some of the same music as well. I know that they have like a performance that they do. So that is of course, why they have the music that's the same, but I don't know, as the night goes on, the music is still kind of like, I feel a pre-recorded track as well. The only time you might get some variation is in the nightclub. The nightclub, um, I felt like they, well, I don't really know because this is the only version cruise that I've been on, but I felt like the DJ, he, you know, I was trying to see and I did, he did mix some hip hop in there and but it was still a lot of mixed of like the house music and EDM type of music, stuff like that. Um, so I think it was okay. I still had a blast. Um, played a lot of Beyonce. <laughs> it did play a lot of Beyonce. I was dancing to it, honey, because I like me a good Beyonce song. And it was Scarlet Night, so I was just dancing my little butt away. Okay, I was dancing the night away. Uh, so the music I thought was okay. Was it a whole... A lot of hip hop. Nah, it was um, a mixture of a lot of different songs. I mean, I don't really care if it's heavily, it doesn't have to be a whole bunch of hip hop music for me, but you know, I also don't want to hear house music all night or the same track of music every night. Um, but like I said, the times that I went, it was the music was okay. Um, but I didn't stay that long. I didn't stay that long, but so I don't know. It just depends on your guys' taste. <laughs> the music was okay. Um, let me see. What else do I have? Um, I think that is it, guys. I think that's all from our review. It's long enough. Ooh, this, this video is long. Um, that's it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And, oh, I almost forgot. I got this hat. I almost forgot. I got this hat and I wore this, honey, on Scarlet Night. I wore it on Scarlet Night. Yes, I did. And I got it. I bought it at the shops. And you wouldn't guess. You would think that this hat cost a lot of money. But I thought it was going to be like $60. And it was literally 15 bucks. Can you believe it? It's a little sailor hat. 15 bucks. Um, I got it. I said, I got to get it. And I got it. So, and I wore it on uh, Scarlet Night. And I wore it that all night. And I had a blast. Um, anyways, so, yeah. I did have a great time, though. I must say, uh, Virgin Voyages is definitely a cruise that uh, it, it may be for you. It may not. It's very, it's very iffy. Definitely very iffy. Um, it just depends on your taste, how conservative you are, if you're not that conservative things like that. So I would say definitely do your research before you go on it because I don't want you to be disappointed, honey. But um, other than that, I had a great time and I can't wait for my next version of Voyages Cruises. And yes, the no kids thing was a plus. Yeah, it was no kids on board, baby. And I know I'm used to traveling with my daughter, my one-year-old, but it was a great time not to have her or any other kids. <laughs> on the ship for that time period I must say it was it was a good time um but yeah so that's all I have for you guys like I said if you have any other questions or concerns if anything you want to ask me about it post it down in the comment section below I will answer your question do I now one other thing the price of the cruise now the price of version is it, they're, they're expensive I will say 
Um, I personally, I don't know if it's worth the full price, if that makes any difference. I didn't pay full price for my cruise, but if I had to, I'm not sure if I would pay that. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it because you can go on other cruises for like half that price of a virgin cruise. So I don't know, maybe splurge and just, if you just want to do virgin, I would splurge that one time and then see if you like it. But I don't know about paying full price every time, honey. Virgin is cool. Well, I don't know if it's that cool. <laughs> I don't know but anyways but other than that I still I did love it I did love version I must say I had a great time uh, so I can't wait to try some of the other ships and I'm excited about that anyways guys that's it I'm gone I'm going I'm about to drink the rest of my wine and chill out but thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe to my videos and I will see y'all in my next video bye